come on dude good morning guys what's up welcome back to another vlog happy monday it's currently 6 48 a.m and i am headed to the gym so let's go before i change my mind Just got out of the gym, feeling very ready for my Monday, ready for a nice productive vlog, finishing up my BCAAs and heading home. I actually didn't bring my protein shake with me, so I won't be having that until I get home. Normally I always bring it, I don't even know what happened this morning, I just forgot. <laughs> It's now 10 a.m. and I have showered and did my makeup. Didn't bother with my hair today. I just put it in a little low bun because it's dirty and I don't feel like doing it. So why even bother? Kind of monochrome today. I don't know how this happened. Brewing myself an oat milk latte with a little bit of oat milk I have left. Wow, it's like just enough actually. This is like empty now. Got my coffee and now we are going to pack some money orders. But I thought I would show you guys my very monochrome outfit today. I don't even know what this is, but I'm wearing this really cute um, bodysuit from Abercrombie. It's so comfortable and I believe it's still on sale. It comes in like three other colors. Very comfy. And then these little joggers are also from Abercrombie. These are the soft AF joggers and they have pockets. And they're just like perfect lounge pants for when I'm getting stuff done around the house.
Guys, I just got the cutest face masks in for Sun Bunny. These are so freaking pretty and they're actually really soft and good quality. I already tried them both on because of course I'm going to keep one for myself in each of these. Um, but this one is going to be called the Coffee Face Mask and it's just a really pretty like light brown color. And then this one is a leopard print and this leopard print one is so soft and it's actually leopard on both sides so it's not like white in the inside same with this one so if you're someone that worries about like your makeup coming off inside of it i hate the way that some masks are like white in the inside and they get dirty really easily so these are so freaking cute and i'm actually doing a little behind the scenes right now here's my ring light i was taking some pictures for the website i'm actually going to make these go live today so they're so cute and i know that you guys are gonna want them also another really exciting new arrival i just got these t-shirts in they're just like really pretty light beige t-shirts that just say online only it just resonated with me so i got them okay before i go do my daily post office run i want to give you guys a flip through of the student planner from seven design co so if you guys don't already know i have a digital design company where i've been designing planners it launched in the beginning of january and it's done really well i've got a lot of support from you guys and i've had so much fun creating these digital planners and this one is specifically for my students out there I know a lot of you guys are college students so I designed this with you in mind so I made this cover myself it says outdream yourself I love that and all of these are fully clickable tabs they're completely hyperlinked so you can just tap and it will take you to each month so I have all 12 months across the top this is undated so you can use it year after year and in this one, I also included a yearly layout, which I didn't include in any of the other ones, but I thought this would be kind of nice to just write down birthdays or if you have like a vacation, any like big events within each month. So that's kind of why I did that. And then here's what the weekly layout looks like for this one. So I just have each day of the week due this week. So you can write anything that you have due. Like if you have homework assignments or a project and then a little to-do list here and then a little box for notes. The daily spreadsheet has an hourly spread so that way you can like put in your class time so say you have class from like 8 to 10 you can kind of time block yourself out i find that that was really helpful when i was a student and then i also have this box over here with just reminders on it a to-do list and then of course another space for notes and then I also created this semester schedule. So you can use this for multiple semesters. You can just duplicate the page, um, but this is extremely helpful when you're trying to plan out your schedule. I remember that was always difficult if your school doesn't have a good like schedule planner when you go to sign up for classes. This will help make it really easy for you to choose your schedule. You can also include some personal things in here if you wanted to, like your work schedule and things like that. And then over on the grade tab, I have a grade tracker where you can put your semester, the course, your goal grade, and your actual grade, any notes, and then the space here is for you to put the assignments and the grades that you got. So this is really helpful to just kind of reflect on your grades and keep track of yourself. And then I even put notes here so that way if there was a grade that was lower or it got raised, maybe you did extra credit, like you can kind of add those things in and then I also made this project planning page so this is really good if you have a big project maybe you have a huge paper to write or of course the dreadful group assignments um, this is really helpful to just kind of plan it out and make sure that you get it done and I think there's 10 of these pages but all of these you can duplicate as many times as you want so unlimited pages um, or you can just erase it and continue to reuse it whatever you want to do. And then over here on the sticker page, I have created all of these student stickers for you guys to use. They are completely cropped and ready to be used in GoodNotes. They do come in PNG format, so if you guys wanna use them on a different note-taking app, you can, but my uh, guide only explains like how to use them for GoodNotes. And so once you import these in here, you can just kind of lasso them and use them throughout the planner is I included four different types of papers. So you have lined graph, blank, and checklist paper, unlimited of each. So if you are taking a math class and you wanna use graph paper or lined paper, and then this I thought was super useful for like to-do lists, and then of course just blank paper in case you wanna add anything in yourself to the planner. So that is my overview. If you guys wanna check it out, I will leave a link in the description, um, but I'm super proud of this. I've been working on it for so long and I really, really hope you guys love it. Just dropped off the packages and I'm heading back home now to eat lunch because I'm so hungry. I don't even know what I'm gonna eat. I don't even think we have anything. I heated up some leftovers for lunch, but there wasn't really much left because Chad took most of it. So I just decided I'm gonna make a protein smoothie for lunch. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna put in it. Every time I make a smoothie, I just grab whatever I have and just throw it in there. So we have this fresh kale from 
uh, dinner from last week we have all of this left so I'm gonna use a ton of this and then I'm gonna do mango chunks pineapple chunks coconut milk a banana and then um, some of this whey protein from Alani new Here's the final product of my green smoothie. It's good. I almost wish that I would have added ice to it. Typically I do enough frozen fruit to where I don't really need the ice and it's cold enough, but this time I added so much kale there wasn't a whole lot of room for me to add the frozen mango and pineapple, so I only added a few pieces and it's honestly just not as cold as I would have liked, but either way, I'm drinking it. I really need to get more greens in my diet. If you guys don't know, I am still doing Jess Hutchins program. I'm actually on week five this week and I'm still tracking all of my food and one of her recommendations uh, looking at my food diary was to get more fruits and veggies in and I know that I always get a veggie in at dinner time, but I typically don't do a good job at getting another one in throughout the day, so this um, is a great idea for me to like have smoothies because it's an easy way for me to get some greens in my diet. And I'm also catching up on last week's episode of The Bachelor because it is Monday and the new one comes on tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna end up watching it tonight. I guess it'll just kind of depend on what Chad's doing. I'm like so behind. I'm terrible at keeping up with The Bachelor. These girls are freaking mean. I will say that. I don't know why people are so mean. It's it's honestly sad. I just got a package in from Casetify and I didn't even know they were sending me anything so I'm very excited to see what they sent. I accidentally cut it open when I was cutting the package like that this came in. Um, but I promise I didn't look yet. So let's see what they sent. I'm very excited. I love the way they package everything, you guys. It's so cute. They don't usually give me a discount code. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little face mask. Today is just like the day of face masks for me. This is so cute. Valentine's Day iPhone case. I'm obsessed. This is so pretty. And then the other one is this one. It's like that rose gold color and it has two angels on it. Good morning guys, it's the next day and it's super early. I'm about to head to the gym. I didn't vlog anything last night. Um, nothing really happened, so <laughs> there's that. It's 6.14 a.m. I'm going earlier than usual today just because Chad had a CrossFit class at 6. So I just figured I might as well get my workout done early as well because we have to take my car in for an oil change today. And I think we have to go grocery shopping as well today. So it just made sense for me to get it done even earlier. <laughs> My legs are so sore, you guys. I don't know how I got out of bed this morning, honestly. Got my banana. A lot of people were asking me like if I eat before my workouts and I don't like eat a full breakfast because it's always so early, but I do have uh, just a banana or like a breakfast bar, just something in my stomach while I'm working out. finished my workout and I didn't record it today I like recording it sometimes but sometimes I just want to get in there and get my workout over with and then come home and it takes longer to record <laughs> so I didn't record in there except for that one little clip in the mirror I actually brought my protein shake today in my little lunch box so I'm so excited I look forward to this after my workouts when I actually remember it. I have to tell you guys a little story about what happened today's adventure at the gym. So there's a younger guy that works out there who's there all the time, like every morning. And I've never talked to him, obviously. I have no reason to talk to the guy. But I mind my business. He minds his. And today I was going to adjust the seat. So I was doing chest press, but then the next workout wanted you to do chest press again, but incline. So I was trying to move the lever to like lift the back of the bench up. 
and that is one thing that even though I like this gym because it's really small and it's never super busy it is annoying because a lot of the equipment is like really old and doesn't work and I couldn't get the lever to move so I am like trying really hard hoping maybe he will like notice because he's right next to me doing a workout and help me just like move the lever and lift the back up um, because a long time ago when I first started working out here that happened with a different machine and one of the other guys not him came and helped me um, with it because I couldn't get the like I couldn't adjust it the um, pegs were like so like rusted that I couldn't get it so I thought like he would help me he's like watching me struggle I could see him like notice that I was struggling and he just kept working out and I was like all right whatever I guess I, I'll just skip this one like I can't you know get the thing to move um, and I didn't really think like it's not his job to help me so I was just hoping you know if he saw me struggling then maybe he would help but he he just did it and I was like okay whatever you know you're in the middle of working out maybe he made eye contact but didn't even like realize that I was struggling but the best part is I walk away and I go to do my core workouts over on the mat and as I'm over there doing my core workouts literally he moves to the exact bench that I was at adjusts the lever and then sits down and starts using it as an incline when he just watched me trying to do it and I couldn't do it so it really felt like a slap in the face and like I said I can't say for sure that he noticed me struggling and like purposely did that but I was just like come on dude like you just watched me struggling and then you just went and took it <laughs> so that was my uh exciting adventure at the gym today anyway let's go home so I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna show you guys how I revitalize my very dirty hair I'm trying to remember when I washed this last it's probably been like four days but I still don't want to wash it yet because it holds curls so much better when it's dirty um so yeah I use like a couple of products so well actually like four products <laughs> um this is the Batiste dry shampoo this is always what I use I just find that it works the best um for like the cleaning part of it but then adding volume I use the living proof <laughs> dry volume blast but because that stuff is so expensive i don't like to use that all over i'll show you guys what i do so, this is just me getting rid of the greasy look you know so i put that all over so it like covers the roots just kind of like scrub my scalp to get it in there then before i brush it out i'm just going to spray in my chi iron guard protect my hair from the heat because I'm going to curl it I'm going to brush it out then I like to go in just the top layer because you can see like how flat my hair is when it's dirty so I go into this top layer right here and just like no that was terrible just like that and the under part of all this I'm going to take the dry volume blast and just go under there really makes a huge difference see and then after i curl my hair i use this dry texture spray from moroccan oil and then i've been brushing through the curls with this honey oil i will be right back after i curl my hair okay i am back and now i'm just going to take some of this oil I'll just take a few drops in my hand and this actually works really really well to keep my curls somewhat defined but I want to like break it up a little so there's still like loose waves if that makes sense then after that my final step is to spray in the dry texture spray and that's it I'm having a little crisis right now because I just realized I don't have any almond milk so I can't make my almond milk latte and we are going to get something for lunch and also grab a coffee 
and I just dropped off the packages that I packed up. So we got that over with. We just finished eating lunch at Jimmy John's and it was so freaking good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had been craving Jimmy John's because I love their Unwitch. I get the, what is it called, Beach Club. So I got that and then my other favorite thing to go with it, but I saved it for when I get home, are their jalapeno chips because, oh my gosh, they're amazing. But then I get it with the spicy ranch and I dip the chips in the spicy ranch. I promise you, if you have not tried this combo from Jimmy John's, go do it. So good, I swear. I don't even know how I ended up trying this, but it's amazing. I haven't had it in so long. So. That's gonna be my little snack when we get home and then I'm gonna get back to work. Well, it is much later now and I am making dinner. We're having chicken tortilla soup tonight and I am so excited. Actually, one of you guys sent me this recipe after I showed you guys how to make the busy day soup. Um, someone messaged me this recipe and so I will link it in the description and let you guys know how it is. I'm literally so excited though. It just sounded really good. We're also making tortilla strips in the oven to go on top. 